Hey Tucson, this is Patrick Chamberlain with the Continental Realty Team, and here is your tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about the risks of buyer contingencies. So what is a buyer contingency? This is when a buyer enters into a contract to buy their next home with the caveat that they still need to sell their current home before they can close on their next one. There's two types of buyer contingencies. You have home to sell, which means that they still need to find a buyer for their house, and a home to close contingency, which means they already have a buyer lined up, but they're just making their way through the transaction. Of these two, the most common that one that we see is a home to close contingency, and this is the less risky of the two. It's less risky because they already have a buyer lined up to buy their house. The risk comes from the fact that just because it's under contract doesn't mean that deal is going to close. They still have to make their way through all the inspections and the appraisal. Now, if you're a seller and you receive an offer with a home to close contingency, if it's a good offer and it's the only offer that you have at that time, I would definitely consider accepting that offer. But before you accept it, you want to ask two questions. One, has that deal made it through the inspection periods? If they've already agreed on the repairs, that is a lot less risky. The second question you want to ask is you want to be sure that the buyer of your buyer's house is not contingent on selling their home. You want to avoid a string or chain of contingencies at all cost. If one of those deals fall through, it can cause a domino effect and take out the rest of the deals relying on the other deals. Now, the other type is a home to sell contingency. This is the most risky of the two. You have all the risks tied to the home to close contingency with the added risk that you don't know how long it's gonna take for them to find a buyer for their home. If you are a seller and you receive a buyer contingency that's home to sell, I would not recommend taking it, especially when we're in a seller's market right now. I would just be patient and wait for another offer to come in. However, if you've been on the market a while, this is the first offer that you've received and it's a really good offer, I would definitely still consider taking that offer. But you do want to ask a couple questions. You want to check with the real estate agent to verify that the house is listed at an appropriate price. If it's priced correctly, they shouldn't have that hard of a time finding a buyer. But if it's overpriced, that house might sit on the market for months and months tying up your home. The second question you want to ask is you want to make sure the house is already listed on the market. You don't want them to say, oh, we're going on the market in two or three weeks because that's just going to delay the process on selling your home. Now, there is a benefit to accepting a buyer contingency as a seller, and this is leverage during the negotiation of repairs. Once you get to the repair negotiation, you know that the buyer of your house, they're contractually obligated to sell their old house. So they're in a tough spot. They have to close on your home or they're going to be homeless or they're going to be looking for a, um, a temporary housing situation like a month to month apartment. And that's just added costs. So when it comes to negotiating the repairs with someone who has to sell their house, you definitely have the upper hand in those negotiations. So to recap, a home to close contingency is the least risky of the two, and I would definitely consider accepting it. With a home to sell contingency, there's a lot more risk, and I wouldn't advise uh, accepting that offer unless it's the only offer you've gotten, it's a good offer, and you've been on the market for a while. If you guys have any questions about this or any other real estate questions, comment below, and I'll cover that in next week's video. And be sure to tune in next Tuesday at 3 p.m. for more tips like this one. And if you can't wait until next Tuesday, you can pick up a copy of my book, The Ultimate Guide to Tucson Real Estate, at TucsonRealEstateBook.com, and it's absolutely free. And as always, if you guys have any real estate needs, whether you're buying, selling, or investing, please give me a call at 520-345-4947.